I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm going to start off with a repurchase and I'm not going to talk your ears off about it because you guys have heard me repurchase this product several, several times. It's already in my shower actually. What is the Eminence Organic uh, Skin Care Strawberry Rhubarb Dermafoliant with Lactic Acid. It is a shaker style powder that you mix. You can mix either like a cleanser or some water with it. Um, I use it every single morning uh, for my face. Recently, funny story, recently I got the Dermalogica microfoliant because I got a sample and I enjoyed using that sample so I thought let me try this kind of switch it up a little bit and I tried to use that consecutively and the first day I thought it was just kind of a fluke with like I don't know acids or whatever I put on my face but I, I got like this stinging sensation and so I, I went back to using what I had left of the eminence and then went and used the microfoliant when I ran out of the eminence <laughs> and I used it consecutively and for two days. The second day after I washed my face, I, I had like a rash on both sides of my face. So then I knew it wasn't a fluke the first time that my face like had a bit of a, like a itchy kind of rash to it. So I have to be careful with that dermafoliant from Dermalogica. I do think that it's nice. It's, it's odd because it doesn't feel as effective as something like the um, Eminence does. Like you just can't feel a ton of exfoliation, but it is exfoliating so you have to be careful with it not to like over massage it into your face so I'm only gonna like use that maybe once a week <laughs> so I had to go back to the trusted eminence uh, dermafoliant so I got another one of those guys I also got another set of the kiss the new natural effortless minimal look eyelashes in high bun I had hold these a couple weeks ago and I just love these. I, I want to wear them like every day. I've actually got these on today. Typically, I wear the Glam Light uh, Code Orange eyelashes because I like the drama. I kind of like what it looks like, you know, through the lens or on camera. It gives some nice, like, lift and volume and stuff like that. Um, but I actually wore the high one today. And I just, they're just a great daily wear lash. So I cut a piece right here because I was using two different ones. One was in the bathroom and one was in here as we do with eyelashes and they're like laying all over, you know? <laughs> um, so you can kind of see on here how much I cut off and I actually will use the little cut off side and I'll stick them on the outside of my lashes sometimes too and it really gives like a, a cat eye effect because they're really like long and wispy but I just think these are great great eyelashes so I do have them on today so those are the kiss high bun eyelashes I got another four pack of those I also got two more of the kiss rebel lash couture eyelashes in downtown girl this is also a newer style um I really like these as well so I decided to get two of these I cut probably a third off of the outer corner of these and I can use these on the outer corner like the cutoff piece as well kind of like I do the high bun ones but these are just a little bit more um, kind of wispy and a little less dramatic than the high bun but I got two more of those guys as well I also picked up a new wet brush this is the brush that I use on damp hair wet hair after I shampoo it and the one that I have is snow white currently and i wanted to get the little mermaid they came out with new ones and i really like the wet brush it like does what it you know it says it the wet brush it's really good on wet hair and i've had my snow white one for quite some time my mom actually picked it up because when i was little um she had it like on video too like on old home tape or whatever i went like this with my hair and said i'm snow white <laughs> Don't know, don't ask, don't ask. <laughs> so I thought I'd just kind of freshen up my brush and get a new style. So this is the Little Mermaid one right here. It's cute, right? I also picked up one of the new Fenty Beauty Demi Glow Light Diffusing Highlighters. This guy's got 0.16 ounces of product and it's made in Italy. So these are new highlighters from Fenty and like based off the swatches I was like gosh I don't even want to go there because they all look a little bit too dark like they're gonna have a strong undercast with a like that sh that really pretty shine but it's an undercast on the cheeks but I'd seen some other swatches somewhere and I was like this shade looks like it would work for me and it's called uh pretty pearls 01 so to my knowledge this is the lightest shade um available it's got really pretty packaging that same kind of triangle to it, but just a little bit different than her kind of normal. So you switched it up a bit. And this is actually the highlighter that I've got on my cheeks today. There is a slight undercast, but the shine is really pretty. Um, it will, because it is so shiny, emphasize a little bit of texture if you have 
some texture on your skin but the formulation itself is so so finely milled like there aren't like chunks of like glitter or particles or anything like that it's just super super smooth so it's for me it's a little bit more tame of a highlighter compared to ones that I typically wear um but it's still really pretty it's got a nice nice high shine to it so um I've worn it a couple times so far see it's like just just the finest, smoothest, softest formula. It's a really, really nice formulation. So if you don't like the glittery particle type style highlighters, but you like a high shine, um, I think these are worth a try. I do wish there was one lighter shade, again, because this does have the slightest bit of an undercast. So again, that guy is the Pretty Pearls Light Diffusing Highlighter Demi Glow from uh, Fenty Beauty right there. I was also super intrigued by this Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin CC stick and I'd seen it when it first launched there was like one shade and I was like that's just probably not gonna work for me I think it was like banana like a yellow shade it's called Banana Bright right <laughs> um, but they came out with new shades so I decided to try the shade Guava which has got a pretty um, nice pink undertone that I like so this has got 0.13 ounces of product and it's made in the USA this is the box packaging. It says enhanced vitamin C, caffeine, and brightening pigments. So I thought that this would be a good product. Uh, first I was going to try it by itself, which I did, and it is a little bit too deep for me to use it by itself underneath my eyes. It's just a little bit darker. So I thought, well, if it is too deep, I can use it for not only the properties of the, the formulation, like having those good ingredients in it, but also to use concealers that I have that are lighter than I would like to wear by themselves. So I've actually got this uh, on underneath my eyes today and I used the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer in RN1, which is, again, it's a little bit too light for me. So this adds a little bit more pink to the formula. Uh, let me go ahead and swatch it for you. I did, again, wear it by itself and it was really comfortable, easy to blend out. I do have drier under eyes. Um, I don't have a problem with creasing or anything like that, but if you have a more oily skin type, you might, because it's quite emollient. So this is the packaging right here. And then here is the shade. And you can kind of see right there that it is again just a little bit too deep for my liking to wear by itself but again the formula is it feels super super nice so I've got it on mixed with the again the high glam from Natasha Denona and RN1 underneath my eyes today so again that is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Vitamin CC Stick uh, right there and that's in guava And then ColourPop came out with a new eyeshadow palette. It's the So Elemental. Uh, 0.32 ounces of product in ColourPop is made in the USA. So it comes in its standard cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. And then your eyeshadows um, are magnetized in there as well. So you can swap them out, which I always appreciate. So this is actually the eyeshadow palette that I've got on my eyes today. It's a really cool toned blue palette. And there's one pressed glitter in the center there. ColourPop does uh, one of the best pressed glitter formulas that I've tried. Along with, I think, a majority of people, I was never really a fan of a pressed glitter. Um, they have mastered it, and I actually really enjoy that formulation now. So I've got that uh, center shade, the, the really pretty like sparklies that you see on the lid is that center pressed glitter shade. Um, great formulation, as per usual, with ColourPop. Just a really icy, pretty, blue-toned palette. And then these next ones. See how pretty that shade is? There's like a little bit of pigment in with it too, which really helps, and it's got a great binder to it. And then this last one. So that guy right there is the So Elemental palette from ColourPop. It is so windy outside, so if you hear like the whistle, it's my windows because of the wind. It actually snowed last night. <laughs> I'm like spring. Hello. What the heck? <laughs> I also picked up the two new Too Faced mini eyeshadow palettes, the Born This Way ones. So they came out with 
just a real neutral one and then a rosy one so you got warm ember nudes which is the rosy one and cold smolder nudes um, which is the little bit more cool toned. I was gonna wear one of these today but I've worn both of these already and I didn't wear the solo elemental so I thought I'd wear that one instead so this has got a total of 0.15 ounces of product three eyeshadows 0.01 ounce which is not a lot that must be the little shiny ones and then you've got three that are 0.03 ounces and three that are 0.04 ounces. And these guys here are made in Italy. So this is the box packaging. Funnily enough, I got two PR packages from Too Faced and I'll show those products too here in a minute, but the cold smolder nudes was in that one. So I won't swatch the one that came in the PR because mom's gonna score on this one. These are actually really nice eyeshadow palettes. So the center, is a plastic casing and the outside is cardboard and it is got a click uh, mechanism in there so this one here is cold smolder nudes and it does have a mirror in there as well and i'll swatch the shiny ones which are 0.01 ounce and the larger ones are 0.03 If you like neutrals and you travel a lot, these are good little palettes. And they're both easily standalone for me as well. So these are the three mattes. And then you got the three shiny shades. So again, that one is the Cold Smolder Nudes. And then we've got the Warm Ember Nudes, also a standalone for me. This is the deepest shade. I can make it work. It could have been a little bit deeper, but... And then the mattes. So that one there is again the warm ember nudes. And then you can see them together there. And then I bought a bunch of lip products. I think it's the season for blush and lip products. There's a ton of both <laughs> coming out and I wanna try them all. <laughs> I got one of the Bobbi Brown Extra Plump Lip Serums, 0.2 fluid ounces of product, and this one is made in Belgium. The shade that I got is Bare Lilac 750. So that's the box packaging. And these are lovely. They've got like a, a really nourishing feel on the lips. This is the color that I got. I don't have this product on my lips today, um, but I've worn this a couple times and it's just really easy to wear. It's a really nice formulation. It feels again, like a nourishing product. So for what it's worth here, I'll give you a swatch because it, there's not a ton of pigmentation to this particular shade, just a hue, a slight hue of a lilac in there. But these just feel super, super nice. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to get a couple more, but I'm not sure if all of them are as sheer as this one. So if they are, I don't really need more colors. <laughs> but again, this is a really nice product. Uh, this is, again, the Bobbi Brown Extra Plump Lip Serum in uh, Bare Lilac right there. I also got one of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Vinyls in Shimmering Rose. These are like all the rage. These are really nice lip products. I got a couple in a different formulation. These ones are new, like a new like sparkly formula or new shades or, or something along those lines. <laughs> um, but these come in a click style uh, packaging. Again, this has got a slight shimmer to it. It's got more pigmentation to it um, than the Bobbi Brown. Very easy to wear. They're long lasting. They feel really nice on the lips. This one's got a, I think like a slight bit of a coconut scent to it. I should have, I should have smelled the Bobbi Brown one. It's got like a really pleasant, slightly sweet smell, not overbearing or anything like that, but there's just a slight bit of a sweetness to that one. So the Maracuja lip vinyl here, let me tell you how much product is in here. Uh, 0.095 ounces or 2.7 grams. And this one here 
is made in Taiwan. <laughs> so this one's made in Taiwan. And this is the packaging again. That's the shade Shimmering Rose, which it's kind of a warm coral shimmer in my opinion. But these are really great lip products here. ColourPop also came out with these So Juicy Plumping Lip Liners. So I grabbed the shade Tees. I really enjoy the lippy sticks. BFF is one that I wear quite a bit. It's a really, really nice lip formula. So I was intrigued by this one. I don't notice like any tingling or anything like that. Um, it's called Plumping. There's a lip liner I'm gonna swatch <laughs> for you guys too that now that one you can feel. <laughs> um, this one I didn't feel again too much. It says a long lasting lip liner that plumps and defines lips for a fuller looking pout. Um, really nice color on this one. This is what the packaging on these look like. So you can see the shade through the uh, top there. And then here is your lip liner. And I'll swatch it next to BFF because I myself am also intrigued in a comparison here. So BFF is lighter, but the tones, the tones are quite similar. It's just this uh, tease shade is a bit darker. So again, that guy right there is the So Juicy Plumping Lip Liner from uh, ColourPop and Tees. And then I got three Charlotte Tilbury lip products. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so I did order the Pillow Talk Fair. I love the lip cheats. It's a pencil that I've gone through several of and I've been using them for a really long time. So I was quite excited not only when she came out with new lipstick shades, but also lip pencils. Cause again, I really do like this formula. It is more long wearing like in comparison to something like the ColourPop and it wears off nicely throughout the day without having like this massive line, I feel. Um, so again, this is the new shade in Pillow Talk Fair, 0 0.04 ounces of product. And this one is made in the USA. So there's the box packaging. And then here's your lip liner. I always like that they put the shade on the end of the pencil. I do have this lip liner on my lips today. It's a really pretty, like, I would call it a slightly purpled nude pink. There's just a hue, just a slight hue of like this cool type of purple in it. It's a really, really pretty color. So that again is Pillow Talk Fair. And I'm going to swatch the lipstick as well with these products that I hauled last week so you can see them all together. And then what I have on with that lip liner is the Pillow Talk Collagen Lip Bath, also in Pillow Talk Fair. This feels so nice on the lips. I remember getting like one of those little sample things and putting it on. I was like, gosh, that's nice. And I'd almost purchased this collagen lip bath so many times and I didn't but when they came out with this shade I was like this is the one I'm going to pick up <laughs> so I got it on with the lip liner that I just swatched there's 0.26 ounces of product in here and this one here is made in the UK is what it says on the packaging so here's the box and here is the packaging on this one it's got a little heart doe foot it's got a nice amount of pigmentation to it. Um, no like plumping or anything. It's one of those products that just feels really nice. Um, it's got a nice tack to it. It is sticky, but it makes it last really long because of that. So let's put a little bit on. I've had this on for, I don't know, like an hour. And I thought maybe I would get that inner rim type of, uh, you know, how lip products can gather there, especially like products like this. And I don't have any like, product gathered either. So now, <laughs> now I'm tempted to uh, buy more of them because like, look how pretty that is. Super, super high shine. Um, again, this is Pillow Talk Fair in the collagen lip bath. I think I'm gonna need more shades. <laughs> Just a really pretty easy to wear pink. And then I couldn't resist this new lip product from Charlotte Tilbury. It's called uh, Big Lip Plumpgasm. <laughs> <laughs> and this is in the shade Pillow Talk Fair Medium, um, which is the lightest one that I've seen um, available. So 5.5 milliliters or 0.18 fluid ounces of product. And this guy is made in Italy. So again, this is Pillow Talk Fair Medium. And this packaging is quite over the top. <laughs> it's really pretty, very substantial packaging. And this guy here has got a little bit of a bite to it. It's, it's not so much so like something like the Too Faced Lip Injection, but it's in that same 
realm of things just a little bit more toned down so i've worn this a couple times i love the scent of it it's got this giant like pointed doe foot applicator and this slightly sweetened vanilla scent it's not overbearing but there's something about this type of a smell that's really nostalgic for me and i really like it so let me show you again the packaging very over the top Again, this does give that plumping sensation, which I know not everybody likes. Again, this is the, what I call it? Pillow Talk Big Lip Plump Gasm uh, right there. So you can see it's a little bit warmer in comparison to the other two products there. It says on the packaging, Plump Gasm Heat and Ice Technology plus Hyaluronic Acid plus Collagenier. It's got a TM for trademark after it, because I was like, that's not even a word, is it? <laughs> um, plump, plump, and pout. Power plump effect gloss, long-lasting hydrating comfort, 3D optical illusion. Um, yeah, so that's what it says on the packaging. Again, it feels really nice. It's less sticky than the collagen lip bath. It feels a little bit more hydrating, but again, it's got that, that tingle effect to it. <laughs> so um, again, there's the that guy right there. And then I wanted to swatch the lipstick that I hauled last week in Pillow Talk Fair. Really lovely pink shade. Just so you can see all of those uh, Charlotte Tilbury products together that are in that Pillow Talk Fair realm of things. Love these lipsticks. They're just some of the best. And that's everything that I got and that I purchased this week. So I did get two PR packages from Too Faced. They've been sending me things um, kind of regularly, which I hadn't gotten any PR from them for a really long time, and now i kind of just been starting to get PR. So the first package had three of the lip injection products in it, and I was really intrigued by the um, lip pencil, and I had almost purchased this uh, a couple times in store, but I had watched somebody on YouTube, and they're like, ooh, that has a bite, so I kind of got a little intimidated by it. I wasn't sure if I wanted that on my lips, like, because the lip injection is a strong, strong bite <laughs> on your lips so just fair warning um but the shade here that they sent is again puffy nude 0.38 grams or 0 0.01 ounces of product in this guy and this is made in korea um one of my absolute favorite lip pencils is the badass um from Too faced the lady bold i've gone through so many of these such an easy uh, formulation or easy color and formulation to wear with several different like nude lip products. I love that. So the color of this is really good. Um, I wore this yesterday <laughs> and it had that effect on the border of my lips for a quite a while. So I'm still trying to form my opinion whether or not I like that feeling on my lips for that long. <laughs> but the formulation of the actual lip pencil and the color is really nice. So um, just fair warning again along the lines again of the lip injection formula, which is pretty strong. So There's the shade. It's such a good shade. Let me swatch it next to badass too. Get that open. So that's lady bold and badass, which is just a little bit lighter and This is also a click style uh, pencil as well so that is the lip injection in puffy nude right there they also sent over the lip injection maximum plump extra strength instant and long-term lip plumper <laughs> 0 0.14 ounces of product four grams and this one here is made in the usa and this is one of the colored shades i love 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 colors like this it's that pink with that slight purpley kind of duochrome to it um it's the lip injection formula, so again, it's going to have some bite to it. Uh, and this is called the Max. It says, we pushed limits to the Max to create a lip plumping formula so powerfully effective is not for plumping rookies. So again, <laughs> if you don't like that strong, like, you know, tingle on the lips, uh, this product is not for you. Um, again, I love this iridescent color to this. And the formulation of it, it does feel nice, like the texture and stuff like that, but again, be prepared. <laughs> so uh, this here, I'm trying to find the shade on here. Um, maybe it's a universal color, because I can't really find a, a shade on the box packaging or this packaging. Maybe that's just the color. But I feel like there's more shades, more colors of this. So anyway, 
And then lastly is the Lip Injection Lip Gloss. So this one here is Lip Injection, but it's not the Extreme. Still has a tingle, but not as much as the Extreme version. <laughs> this is uh, Glossy and Bossy um, is the shade. Power Plumping Lip Gloss, 0.22 fluid ounces of product in this one, and it's made in the USA. Such pretty packaging. So there is the Doe Foot applicator right there, and it's like a cream formulation. It's got a slight bit of a pink hue to it right there. So again, that one is the shade Glossy and Bossy in the Power Plumping Lip Gloss um, right there. And then the second PR package they sent over is says the Trend Taupe Smoke. So they sent over two of the killer liners and then again that Cold Smolder Nudes uh, palette, which I'm going to give that guy to my mom. She's going to really, really love that. So that's right there. And then the two liners, I think, um, Killer Taupe. No, I think one of these is a new color. But I'm going to swatch both of them. This is a really nice formula. I don't think I'll get a lot of use out of these particular shades. So mom's going to score with these guys as well. But this is a really nice formula. Um, it does last pretty well for me for a pencil liner on the waterline as well. So this first one here is Killer Taupe, right there, it's just a taupey brown color. I should read the information on the packaging of these as well. Um, 0.04 ounces of product or 1.2 grams. It says total control 36 hour waterproof eyeliner. Um, that's probably true on the skin. I don't, I don't think that it would hold maybe that long on the waterline, at least for me and my watery eyes, but it does have pretty decent longevity there. Um, these guys are made in Germany. So this next shade is Killer Storm. So the packaging, it kind of, they came in a different packaging, each one right there. So here is Killer Storm. It's like a gray brown right there. And like a huge thank you to Too Faced for sending me over those PR packages. And then lastly, I got a PR package from Pixie. They're Skin Treats. I love the box packaging, very, very pretty. And they came out with a new toner. It's the Antioxidant Tonic, uh, a fusion of skin-loving Nordic superfood berries in a luxurious multi-use essence toner. Um, I've been using the Pixie Glow Tonic for a really long time. I've dabbled with different toners and every once in a while I still use some different toners. Um, but I seem to always go back to the Pixie Glow Tonic. <laughs> I use it twice a day, morning and night. So I just love that product. So I was quite excited about this guy, especially for like those nourishing aspects of it. Um, it says Radiant Revival, immerse your skin in a purity of Nordic superfoods, blending lingonberry, strawberry and cloudberry harmoniously with invigorating birch water. So this here has got a little bit of a thicker um, formula than something that's just like pure water or like that real watery. It's got a little bit of viscosity to it. And how I've been using this is I tone with the glow tonic a little bit overkill I know. <laughs> and then I put some of this in the palm of my hands and I just pat it over my face. And I do notice, I do notice hydration from this product. So um, it hasn't been long enough to like tell like a super difference but I do think that it feels quite hydrating and really lovely on the skin. So I have been enjoying this guy. So again, this is the Pixie Antioxidant Tonic Blueberry and Birch Water Preserving Serum Toner. 8.5 fluid ounces of product. And this guy here is made in the USA. So huge thank you to Pixie for sending this new toner product over as well. And that is everything that I have for my haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.